Hello, it's Gem Games here once again, and welcome to this new Unreal Engine 5 tutorial. In this video, we're going to make some quality of life improvements. So, for example, we can open the door from anywhere, not only from the handle. And this can be turned off if you want. And also, when we open the door with the key, it will automatically open if you want. That can also be turned off. So, yeah, let's get started. First, let's fix a few little things that I noticed. Let's go to the interactable folder and let's go to the pickups and let's open first the base item. Here, what we want to do, let's go to viewport and let's go closer to the item. You can see the interaction icon show collision is very big, as you can also see here on the level. So, what we can do, we want to select, actually, do we have something? No, no, no. We want to select the interaction icon show collision and let's move it under the default scene route. Okay, now when it's here, let's set its location back to zero and scale. Let's scale it to be one on all of these. And you want to unlock this first, otherwise it will adjust all these other values with the one that you change. Okay, now you can see it is starting to look better. Now, one more thing that I want to do here is I want to change the uh, sphere radius to be 150. I think that's better. Or maybe even more. So like, maybe even 200, but yeah, I will leave it to 150 for now. Okay. Now, when you have done that, you want to select the interaction icon show collision and move it under the item again. Now let's compile, save, and let's close this. Now let's do the same for the key. So let's go to the Wii port. Let's go closer. As you can see, this collision also is very big. So interaction icon show collision. Let's move it to the default scene route and Reset the location and also the scale. One, 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 like that. And then sphere radius, let's set it to 150. And let's move it back to the item, like that. Compile, save, and let's close this. Now you can see they're starting to look better. Okay. But one more thing that we have to change here is we actually want to go to the interactables and to the switch. Let's open it. Here we can just select the interaction icon show collision and set the sphere radius to 150. Okay, compile, save, and now we can also close this. Then what we want to do next, we want to go to the blueprints and we want to open the BB player character. And here on the BB player character, we want to open the interaction category here on the variables and interaction range let's set it to 150 okay compile save and we can also close this now we have to go back to the interactable and let's open the blueprint class called door and here we will have to do a few things first let's actually go to the viewport And here in the wheel port, the first thing that we have to do is let's select our interaction icon show collision and let's set it also to 150. Now let's select the door and let's add a ox collision like that. And now the box collision, let's rename it to be interaction collision uh, maybe two or like let's call it just interaction collision two yeah and also we will have to change some uh, collision settings here let's change the collision preset to custom and 
collision enabled query only no physics collision and world dynamic and now we have to change the the visibility to block like that now we will have to change its location so let's go back up here and location set let's set it to 105 then scale let's unlock this like this and the x scale 0.15 oh sorry actually actually sorry uh x scale will be 3.27 no why is it like that oh i'm stupid <laughs> sorry 1.82 i have already done this so uh yeah and uh y scale it will be uh, 0 0.50 like that and the set will be 3.27 uh, now you can see it is perfectly the size of the door and a little bit bigger on this uh, y-axis basically okay now what we have to do is we want to go to the event graph Let's actually compile and save all because we have seven unsaved things. Now let's go to here to the begin play. And what we want to do, we want to actually create two new variables. The first one will be called door fully interactable, something like that. And let's put it to the category of uh, settings, maybe. And we can also put the re-interactable settings like that. And now the door fully interactable. Let's compile so we can set it to true. Now let's get that variable here on the begin play. Let's get a branch, so be and left click. And if it's true, what we want to do, first we want to get our uh, interaction collision, not the interaction collision 2 but the original one and we want to destroy component so if we have set the door fully interactable to true then we don't need this component anymore and also what we have to do with the interaction collision 2 oh what did i do so interaction collision 2 let's get it to here and let's set tags like this now from the component tags we want to make array now let's open or uh, select our interaction collision and let's search for a tag we can see we have this interact tag here so let's copy that let's paste it to here like that now we can close that so now we will be adding the interact tag to, to the interaction collision 2. And then what we want, want to do is we want to set the interaction icon show collision to the middle of the door, basically. So how we can do that is when we select our interaction icon, you can see we have set our the location x to 50 so we want to set minus 50 on this one so here let's get the interaction icon show collision and set relative location now we can just set the new location on the x to minus 50 and what that will do is i'll show you quickly it will actually what okay it is not working so here on the interaction icon we will have have to set all these scales to one as you can see now 
it is starting to look like it's supposed to look. So now when I go back here, it's set to minus 50, it is on the middle. Now when I set this to zero, it is on the handle basically. So this will set it to the middle. Okay, now here, where do we have it? Event activate under here. Now we have to, let's duplicate the door fully interactable. And let's call this variable open after unlock or something like that. And when we activate the door, so we basically open it, we want to add a branch here and we want to check if we open after unlock. Let's also compile and set this to be true. And it is already because we duplicated the door fully interactable thing. And at that, we want to just call the uh, open, open close function like that, simple as that. I will actually move this a little closer to here. Yeah, yeah, something like that. So now everything should work. So let's compile, let's save all. Let's go to our level and let's see how the all the collisions are looking correct size. So let's actually try it. So now we have set both of these door fully interactable to true and also the open after unlock to true. So now when we play, we first pick up the key and the base item. Go here. You can see we can interact from anywhere. Now when we unlock it with the key, it will open. Okay, I think it's working really nicely. So yeah, I actually think that was all for this video. If you like what you saw, please click the like button and subscribe for more. And yeah, hope you have a great day and see you on the next one. Bye.